Hi, so for today we are going to talk about double integrals. Okay, by uh, the topic of the integral calculus. This is our continuation of the study about the integral calculus. So for now, we're going to tackle the double integrals part one. So I'll be making uh, many parts of this video. Make sure to tune in and subscribe if you are new to my channel. So yeah, let's try to solve some double integrals. Let's start with a simple one. Okay. So let's say that this is a definite double integral. Okay. So the concept of definite uh, double integral is that uh, we are going to integrate twice. Okay. So given this function, find the double integral of x, y, dy, and dx. So basically, the two integrals represent that there is two variables. Okay in terms of how we are going to integrate the given. So we have y and we have x. So that's why we have dy and dx. Now the very first thing that we're going to do here is to take note that whatever is really uh, the innermost variable, let's say dy, that is the counterpart of the innermost integral. Okay, So, so it means that we need first to integrate x, y, dy with uh, this integral from 1 to 2. And after integrating it, we have dx counterpart with the outermost integral. So, yeah, that is the very first thing that we are going to do. So, how do we do this? So, for example, we are now ready to integrate x to y dy. So, we are integrating with respect to y. So, what are we going to do is to factor out any other variable except for y because that is considered as constant. So this x must be factored out since this is multiplied. So that's what we do in the integral, right? If that is a constant, okay, so we factor it out outside the integral. But since uh, this we are integrating with respect to dy, any other variable except for y is considered as constant. So x is considered as constant and we can factor out x outside of the integral sign okay for this uh integral sign so we have y dy okay and then we have dx so basically what are we going to do is to simply what integrate this with respect to y dy so in other words so that you will not be confused we are going to integrate this first x to y dy what are we going to do is to factor out x since we are integrating with respect to y. So that is this part, okay? This part. That's the equivalent of this. So when we try to integrate this, it's very simple. y squared all over 2 evaluated from limits 1 to 2. So we have x, then we have 2 squared all over 2, minus we have 1 squared all over 2. So we have 4 all over 2 or 2... Uh, Okay, so what will happen is we have 2 squared all over 2. 2 squared is 4 all over 2. That's 2. Then we have y minus 1 half. So technically, this would be 2 times 2 would be 4 minus 1 all over 2. That would be x times 3 halves or simply 3 halves x. Now, this is not the final answer. This is only the integration of this or rather this. So what happens is that now, we have integral of 0 to 1. Then we have x. That is the x that we have factored out outside of the integral sign. And then we have 3 halves x. Okay? And then we have dx here. Oops, I'm sorry. This x is not included because that is the x. Okay? This is already the x that we have factored out. So, no need to write for x. So, we doubled the x. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. So, we have from 0 to 1, we have 3 halves of x, dx. So, again, same principle. We have to factor out 3 halves outside of the integral sign. From 0 to 1, and then we have x, dx. So, integrate that. That would be x squared all over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. Then, we have 3 halves. 
we have 1 squared all over 2 minus 0 squared all over 2, and this is 0. Okay, and then we have what answer? 3 fourths. So, 3 halves times 1 half would be 3 all over 4. So, the answer to this integral is simply 3 fourths. The answer for our integral, double integral, okay, of x, y, dy, dx equals 3 fourths. So, this would be our final answer. Okay, for number 2. Let's try again for number 2. So, for number 2, we have the double integral. In this case, we have a limit that is basically uh, variable also. Okay, so what are we going to do? Is same old process. Okay, so this variable is integrated with this and this integral is integrated with the dy. Of course, we don't have to, we have first to separate the, this integral, evaluate this first integral. Okay, and then the outer one. So we have the integral of y, y squared. Integral of x plus 2y evaluated from y to y squared, uh, dx. So what are we going to do here is the same principle that we are going to apply in solving indefinite integrals or definite integrals. So I can distribute x, dx here. And then I can distribute integral of y to y squared of 2y, dx here. So, and integrate them uh, individually. So, this is x dx. So, this becomes x squared all over 2. Okay? Evaluated from y to y squared. And then we have 2y. I can factor out 2. And then integrate y. I mean, we are integrating with respect to dx. Okay? So, we can factor out 2y. Okay? Because y is considered as constant because we are integrating with respect to x. So, that can be factored out. And the integral of simply dx would be x evaluated from y to y squared. Again, we have factored out 2y because 2 is a constant. So, we can factor it out. And y is a constant because we are integrating with respect to x. So, we can factor out that y. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. So, distributing now the limits. So, if we're going to distribute the limits... So, we have uh, y squared squared. Take note that we have substituted the x with the upper limit, which is y squared. It has squared because it has squared here. So, happen also that our uh, upper limit is y squared. So, we have y squared in here. All over 2 minus we have y squared all over 2. Then, we have plus... Uh, 2y, 2y, and then distributing the limits, we have y squared minus y. Okay? So that it will be our equation. So I can factor out 1 half on both of these terms. So 1 half, this becomes y squared, squared minus y squared. Then we have plus 2x, y squared minus y. Okay? So that is... How we do it? So simplifying, we have 1 half y raised to 4 minus y squared. And then we have plus 2x. And then we have uh, uh, y squared minus y. Is this, is this 2x? Ah, I mean, this is 2y. <laughs> okay, this is 2y. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that. So 2y. This is 2y. Okay, so that is 2y. And then what are we going to do is we can simply distribute and try if we can somehow simplify. We have 2y cubed here if this is distributed minus 2y squared. So we have a negative 1 of y squared minus 2y squared. That becomes negative 3 halves. Okay, so effectively we are... Uh, adding, I mean, negative 5 halves, okay? So, 2.5. So, you have 1 half y raised to 4 plus 2y cubed minus 5 halves, okay? 
So, if we add 1 half and 2 and add them negatively. So, that becomes negative 5 halves y squared. Okay. A take note that this is only what we have solved a while ago. Okay. From the integral, the, or integral of uh, x plus 2y dx evaluated from y to y squared. This is our answer for that. However, we are not yet done because we have still to integrate okay, in terms of dy and evaluated from 0 to 1. So what happens now is that this whole expression that we have integrated a while ago is now part of the outermost integral, which is uh, 1 half y raised to 4 plus 2 y cubed minus 5 halves y squared in terms of what? dy. Okay? So, once we have evaluated this, we can now uh, get the uh, result, okay, of our integral, of our double integral. So, using the properties of, again, the integrals, factoring out the constants, okay, so that it would make our uh, uh, solution more simpler. So you have 1 half multiplied by integral of y raised to 4 dy, that's y raised to 5 all over 5, evaluated from 0 to 1. Then we have plus 2, evaluated from y raised to 4 all over 4, that's the integral of y cube from 0 to 1. And then we have 5 halves, then we have y cube all over 3 from 0 to 1. So, once we have uh, evaluated this, then we uh, solve the double integral. So, I can factor out one-fifth, okay? So, for the simplification, we have one-half times one-fifth, and then we have y raised to 5 from 0 to 1. can also factor out one-fourth, 2 all over 4, and that becomes one-half, okay? So, that becomes one-half. I factor out one all over 4 here, so that becomes one-half. So, and then y raised to 4, evaluated from 0 to 1, minus 5 halves multiplied by 1 third, because I can factor out the 1 third here. It's common. So, that our solution will not involve, uh, will not involve fractions, okay? At least for, at least for distributing the limits. So, we have 1 all over 10, because 1 half times 1, 5. So, we have 1 raised to 5 minus 0 raised to 5. Plus, we have 1 half, 1 raised to 4, 0 raised to 4. Then, we have negative 5 all over 6. Then, we have 1 cube minus 0 cube. Okay, effectively, this would be 0. This would be 0, 0, and this would only be 1. Okay, these are all, all 1. So, technically, we are left with 1 all over 10 plus 1 half minus 5 all over 6. So, if we're going to solve this first, okay, Going to solve this first, we have 1 times 2 plus 1 times 10 all over their product, 20, minus 5 all over 6. So, let us simplify that. That would be uh, that would be 12 all over 20 because we have 2 plus 10 all over 20 minus 5 all over 6. So, 12 all over 20. And the uh, lowest term of 12 all over 20 would be 3 fifths. Okay, so 3 fifths. 3, 3 fifths minus 5, 6. So, 5 all over 6. So, we try to uh, minus that. So, we have 3 times 6 minus 5 times 5 all over 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, so we have 18 minus, uh, we have 25 all over 30. 18 minus 25 is negative 7 all over 30. So, this would be our final answer for this double integral. So, it's pretty uh, it's pretty long, but the process is the same. Okay? The process is the same. Uh, the, the properties of definite integral and uh, indefinite integral still applies. Okay? And the only new thing here is that we are integrating not only with respect to a single variable, but a double variable, dx and dy. 
So down to our last number, we have number 3. We have the integral of double integral of this. We have x, y, dy, dx. Still, a pretty much the same uh, concept or formula or problem that we had a while ago. But in this case, uh, the definite integral has 4x, has a variable also. So, yeah, we also have to get the integral of this and then this. So, whatever is in the inner, innermost part of the integrand, that would be the counterpart again of the innermost integral also. So, first we are going to solve 0 integral of x to y dy evaluated from 0 to 4x. So, we are integrating with respect to y so we can factor out x outside. Then we have y dy. So, integrate, that would be x, y squared all over 2 from 0 to 4x. Okay, we can factor out 1 half for simplification of our distribution of limits. Then we have 0 to 4x. So, we have x, time, x times 1 half is 1 half x. And then we have distributing the limits, we have y squared. So, we have 4x squared minus 0 squared. So, this is 0. So, that would be 1 half x multiplied by 16x squared. Okay? So, 16x squared, 16 divided by 2 would be 8. So, 8x squared times x, that would become 8x cubed. And that is the first integral that we have. Okay? And this 8x cubed would now be in this integral, since double integral. So, you have the integral of 8x cubed uh, dx. Take note, dx is the counterpart of that integral. So, dx evaluated from 1 to 2. So, we can factor out 8. Then we have x cubed dx evaluated from 1 to 2. So, you have 8 integral of x cubed. That's x raised to 4 all over 4 from 1 to 2. We can factor out 1 fourth. So, this becomes... Uh, 8 times 1 fourth. Okay? 8 times 1 fourth or this becomes 2. Then we have x raised to 4 evaluated from 1 to 2. So this will be our uh, integral. So we have 2. Then we have evaluating the limits, upper limit. 2 raised to 4 minus 1 raised to 4. So 2 raised to 4 is 16. Then we have minus 1. Okay, so technically 2 times 15, that is 30. The answer for this integral, double integral, is 30. Okay, so yeah, that is how we solve some basic integrals. Okay, so I'll be having a part 2 of this. Okay, so we'll be having um, more complicated problems in double integrals, but now it's just the basic uh, and then we will be switching to the triple integrals. I hope this video finds you uh, helpful. It, uh, you find this helpful. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more engineering mathematics tutorial. So I also have a playlist in integral calculus. You might check it out. Might as well check it out. So thank you so much again, guys, for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abbott, and this is Double Integrals, how to evaluate double integrals. So thank you so much, guys, and God bless.